as I'm speaking with you, or as I'm speaking to this upper house now, almost all the car dealers on those stretches are closed down. This is practical. And I'm saying, why has this happened? It is because the government that is our own, one way or the other, has been misadvised to issue out directives bordering on shutting down the businesses of Nigerians. Learning from experience, this new policy will only force clearing agents to go into smuggling. That is my own main concern. Clearing agents who are doing their legitimate businesses before will now be forced to go into smuggling. And uh, like every other thing, some people will posit an argument that if we are able to close our borders for rights and it is working for us, why can't we do the same thing for vehicles? This is not working in the case of vehicles because there are no alternatives. The alternative that we preferred in the case of rice ban through land borders is very, very visible to Nigerians. The lake rice, which is um, a product of Lagos State Government and um, Kebi State Government, when it was um, to come out, it came out with almost half the price of imported rice. But let me shock you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. If you think that the imported rice are not coming in, we are making a mistake. They are coming in, it is only that they are rebagged in such a manner that you cannot tell from which country they are coming from. They would rather not put the country and the rice are coming in. How have they been able to come in? It is because our borders are porous. The customs, in whatever form, have disappointed Nigerians. Let me go further to say that I will support a situation where we have our factories producing Nigerian-made vehicles. Like my brother, Senator Ben Bruce will say, which I align with, and of course this whole Senate aligned with the Made in Nigeria goods. What we found out is the fact that the factories that we have in Nigeria that are supposed to be making vehicles are equally culpable. Even to the extent that on this same floor, a major vehicle manufacturing company has been indicted and investigation is going on. I want to support this motion and all the prayers that have been said and to implore the present government that issues bordering on an average Nigerian being able to live should be treated with all the responsibility attached to it. On this note, I want to thank